Beg your pardon, but could I trouble you to turn over your weapons? Could I trouble you to blow it out your ass? <laughs> no, we joke here. Here are my guns. You have my assurance that everything will be returned upon your departure. But we simply can't have anyone waving their weapons around in the hotel. It's not the atmosphere we wish to cultivate. Excellent. Please, enjoy your stay. Your mask really freaks me the fuck out. Uh, who are you? I love the masks. It's like being in a fancy ball. It's oh, okay. Yeah, it's to- I <laughs> Oh, okay. Never mind. This is a rich dude. Well, I mean, I got my own bodyguards. You've so. never done the Beyond the Beef quest, have you? No. I keep forgetting that you've never been inside the strip because for the longest time, you thought going into the strip was the end game, so you avoided it entirely. Yeah. I didn't know that for <laughs> a very long period of time. I've heard you have to make reservations at the Gourmand years in advance. At the what? The Gourmand. Oh, is it like the restaurant? Yes. Oh, okay. I've heard you have to make reservations at the Gourmand years in advance. Yeah, that would... Where did you put those? <laughs> did you stuff them in your bra? I love the masks. It's like being in a fancy ball. Okay. Those masks make me nervous. Is there something wrong with their faces? You just said you like the masks. <laughs> I'm, whatever, I'm out of here. I'm looking for... what? I, we didn't talk to this guy yet. This guy is so annoying. <laughs> what ho, old chap? Major Fitzgerald's the name. Pleased to meet you. Righto, righto. Uh, Major. Huh? Back in Britain, I was a formidable force in the military. Over here, I'm a formidable force on the tables. I'll do this with my hands. <laughs> so what do you do around here, Major Fitzgerald? I gamble. I'm jolly good at it, too. Well, your gambling days are about to come to an end. We're here on behalf of Cliff. Oh, really? That old bug is still going, is he? I suppose he said you here to kill me, didn't he? Perceptive. He swore revenge when he lost all his money. He never did like helping others, Cliff. He certainly didn't respect his betters. I don't think he sees you as his better. Oh, he was moaning on about how we scammed him. He lost firm and square. Could have been any of us. That's what everybody keeps saying. So what are you waiting for? You got to kill me in a casino full of armed guards? Just try it. Well... Now get out of here. You might bring me bad luck. I wouldn't like to lose my money. If you lost your money, that would be the least bad thing to happen to you. I think if this guy lost, he'd flip out. You can sabotage the table so the Major loses his next bet and all his money. Hmm. Why don't we do that thing? How, how are we sabotaging the table? I'm putting loaded dice on it. I'll put all my chips on 13, my man. What? I lost? I never lose. I lost everything, damn it. I'll kill all you masked freaks. <laughs> what? That's... Um, that's quite a stance to take. Watch out. Okay. Oh, boy. Um, should we help? No, we're not involved in this. Let's watch the man be beaten to death. <laughs> Fastest plot twist in anime history. Right there. That's three down, one to go. We should go to Novak now. To Novak! Let's go kill a random person. Here you go, buddy. For good luck. <laughs> 21! Woo! This place looks exactly like I imagined it would. Drunks, lights, hookers. It's perfect. It, I, <laughs> the hookers? I had no idea that you were so excited about prostitutes. Throw a penny in and make a wish. I wish I had a cult pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't do that in a million years if I tried. <laughs> That's amazing. Ah. Looking for James. Ah. Hey, I think I found it. First house is James's house. Knock, knock. Shoot the hinges off the door. Kick the door open. Hello? Uh, Jimmy? Hey there. Where's your mom? Dad says she's got out. She's been gone a long time, though. Oh, okay. Bye. That's just sad looking. <laughs> Cans on the floor, you just could not give a single fuck. Hey there, stranger. I'm James, and I live here with my son Jimmy and my wife Jenny. What can I do for you? 
We didn't meet Jenny. Jimmy and Jenny? Y- yep, sure is. The three of us living together. You you worded that so strange. Um, I'm here on behalf of Cliff. Oh, God, he's out for revenge, isn't he? I knew he would. Look, I didn't want anything to do with it. He has to understand. It could have been any of us. I didn't even like Dickinson. I still don't. I told them not to do it. I live in fear every day of it being me next. Don't kill me. Think of my son all alone. Uh, what about your wife? Yes, well, she's out. She'll be back soon. She'll be back soon. Uh, I don't think that's true. How could you say that? My wife is out. She'll be back soon. Welcome back. What happened to your wife? Also, maybe beg for your life some more? We just told you we're here to kill you. My wife is out. She'll be back soon. Okay, then. Don't mind us. We're going to poke around your house a bit more. Excuse me. Excuse me. What the fuck? (laughs) Wow, yeah. Spared no expense on this place, did you? Why is there goop coming out of your wall like we're living in fucking Ghostbusters 2? Mm, Poorly maintained house. We can't open this door, but it's locked tightly. I'm going to force this door open. Is she a ghoul or dead? Yeah, it looks like she's been dead a long time, and the body is in a bad state of decomposition. Strangely, there's also signs of sexual activity. Gross! (laughs) You killed my dad. Why did you kill my dad? Because he was having sex with a corpse. He's a bad, bad man. No, he wasn't. He looked after me. Now who's going to look after me? You're on your own now, kid! I thought you'd say that. You have a bad one. Not my dad. Yep, I'm a bad person! Come on! (laughs) Welcome back. We saw your wife's decomposing body, and also the semen. And we showed your child. Oh god, you saw her then. What must you think of me? Are you gonna kill me? I think of my son. What the fuck happened? She died. A long time ago. I couldn't bear it, so I sort of... kept her. Yeah. We see that part! I don't even know what to do here. Because if we kill him, the child is on his own? I don't want to leave the kid with a corpse fucker! He fucks corpses! Having a necrophiliac father is, in some ways, better than no father at all. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Now please, leave me be. Shut up! Let's never come back here again. Why don't we tell Cliff that his target's family... uh, We gotta weasel word this, so... We'll tell him he's resting with his wife, who is dead. That's actually a brilliant plan. Let's go with that. Okay. You're back. Is everyone dealt with? Let's go through this one by one, shall we? Firstly, we've dealt with Albert, that drunken vagrant. Yeah, he kind of wanted to die. I bet he was too drunk to feel it. He seemed sober enough, but uh, anyway, Rick and his partner Malph are both dead. Good. I trust you gave that slimy creature the fate he deserved. Yeah, you haven't explained why they deserve these fates yet, but (laughs) we're agents of chaos we love to kill. Speaking of which, the Major is dead. That idiot would have known what hit him. I did. It was a cane. James is resting with his wife, who is dead. I bet he begged. He was always a soft one. He did beg. That's all of them! Now it's time to go for Dickinson? You're right. Dickinson next. I'll be coming with you on this one, and once we start, I want to see it all the way through. No messing about. Alright, the five of us, this is quite a large entourage, but this is a bit much. He didn't really tell us anything about Dickinson. We're going in blind, flying by the seat of our pants here. What is it? Dickinson is waiting for us. What are we going to do when we find this guy? We're going to kill him. He was the one who started this, and we're going to finish it. What kind of resistance can we expect? He'll have a lot of guards looking after him. He always was a paranoid man. I wonder why. Okay, why are we trying to kill him, though? See you soon. I you fa- uh, whatever. <laughs> Let's just go. Eh, uh, okay. Last big. This is it. 
Dickinson's headquarters. Why is it a hospital? This was a pre-war private hospital, designed to look just like a mansion on the inside. Ah, ritzy. Oh. Only the rich of the rich could be treated here. I suppose Dickinson sees it as symbolic that he should take over this bastion of wealth. Now, if we're done with the talking, I've got revenge to take. Okay, fine. You can take your revenge. Probably just gonna kill you as soon as we're done, but whatever. Oh, over here! Hello! Okay, <laughs> nice weapon! <laughs> hang on a second, hang on a second. We just gotta... Check out my panko with jackhammer! Yeah, I'm gonna drill you. I wanna press forward, but we got some narrow chokes here. Cover me, I'm reloading! And my weapon's jammed! And also parts of it are broken, and I can't find replacements! Yeah, and you have to disassemble 90% of your gun to reload it. <laughs> It is a very nice looking hospital, isn't it? It is pretty nice in here. Very ritzy. I've only seen one woman guard so far. Uh, no one said he wasn't a sexist. I'm out of here! Oh, was that him? No, oh, that was a physician. Oh, we just kill it. Physician, heal thyself! <laughs> we just killed a doctor for no reason. Yeah. Why did we do that? Because we, did, because we did not take the hypocritical oath. This is it. Time to finish this. This is Dickinson, the man who took my money for himself. I know there's something you're not telling us! Maybe I haven't been totally honest with you. You haven't told us anything! Shortly after our caravan went out of business, Dickinson was taken ill. The only way he could survive was with expensive treatments. His own money funded it at first, but soon it wasn't enough. So he stole your money? He gathered us together and told us we were going to draw lots. Whoever lost would have to surrender their fortune to pay for his care. Why did you agree to that? I was the one who lost. And I had to give up my money to keep this husk alive. Now we're going to set things right. Why would you ever agree to that? I want you to unplug his machine. I'm going to watch. What a moral confrontation we have here. Yeah, you go unplug him. I'm not doing it. No, you will do it. I've come too far now to be stopped by you. So you do it! I, you know what, fine, whatever, I don't even care. Wisely done. It won't be hard. I'll watch from here. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, whatever, whatever. How are you doing, you sickly old man? You conscious? Uh, looks like he's not even long for this world. No, he's gonna die soon anyway. Treatment log! With the money one of Mr. Dixonson's friends donated, we can finally begin <laughs> treatment. <laughs> for this to work, we have to place him in a medically induced coma, from which he may never awake. I tried to explain this to him, but I don't think he understood the implications of what we were attempting. But we did it anyway! As the weeks go on, Mr. Dickinson's condition is only getting worse. He shows no sign that he will be able to turn this around, and we are running out of money. I have been assured by our guards that the money will arrive, and I'm being told to continue regardless. Sure enough, the money came! I assume this was another kind of donation from one of his old friends. They used to visit from time to time, but now none come. Probably more out of fear than anything else. They're afraid of him. And he is now past the point where he will ever be able to wake up. It is my opinion that he will remain in this state forever, only being kept alive by this machine. I am under strict orders not to unplug the machine on pain of death. Had he been born 200 years ago, this would have been a different story. But we simply don't have the resources to help. For now, I will continue to operate the machinery until the money runs out. Or he dies. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> he is kind of a dick. <laughs> oh, God, I'm sorry! <laughs> sorry, Willow! <laughs> oh, Zack. Zack. I don't think we can kill him. Well, you know what? Fuck you. <laughs> After all this, you turn on me now, you've been duped by him. Yeah, he convinced us. He's not a nice man. He's evil. Don't you see it? It's not an obvious form, but there it is. No, Cliff. I think you're e I Actually, I... Don't. I just think you're weird. How could you say that? I should have seen it in you when you first sat with me. I'll fucking kill you, then him. Alright. We gave you the option to kill them. You chose not to! This machine is keeping the old man on the bed alive. It doesn't take a doctor to realize his situation is not good. It also doesn't help that we killed his physician and everyone taking care of him. That is true. There's nobody to roll him over. He's going to die of bed sores. You can unplug the machine, killing Dickinson, or walk away and face Cliff. Hello, I'm your physician. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's a miracle! My shotgun shoots a healing sound! You did it. Thank you. 
You've brought peace to a man in a world where he thought he could have none. So what are you going to do now? I don't know. Return to my camp for now. Then, who knows. Whatever I do, I'll always remember you. Thank you. You're welcome. By the way, we didn't kill James! Bye! Also this. <laughs> Again. <laughs> No, come back! You have to give him a kiss before you leave. Ah, well, shit. So much for that conjugal visit. <laughs> What's up? I'm gonna get naked. <laughs> what? Did you really just say that to me? Go find a picture of a naked girl to look at. I'm not taking my clothes off for you. Oh well. Fine, Hope. Strip. <laughs> Hope's like okay. <laughs> At least they're not shooting me in the face. 